Hi again, and welcome back to the Nightmare X Show. With hope, you're seeing this after the old 62, and after the three um, app reviews that will follow. Um, but I'm making this like a few hours after episode 25 of the old 62. So you're gonna see this long after I'm making this recording. Um, after I did Power Man, I got on Messenger and I talked to an old friend of mine that I haven't really talked to since last year, uh, 2017. And there's a reason for that. In December of 2017, he was in this chat group with me and a few friends, um, where we would auction off or trade original characters between each other, and, like, for roleplay and, um, that kind of stuff. I added someone else to the group. And this guy, my old friend, um, he got in a big mood and started swearing, and then he just left the group. Like, he asked me to um, boot him from the group, and I was like, no, no, that's ridiculous. I didn't even know why he was being like that, and I had no idea what was going on. His outburst was unprompted. The only thing I could figure was he did all that because I added someone to the group. Maybe he knew that guy and he had issues with that guy. Maybe. Come to find out that wasn't the case at all. So I talked to this guy on July of 2018 and he said he didn't even know the person I added to the group and that, um, well, now he's saying, now it's um, November 2018, he's saying that <sighs> that he was going through personal stuff, and that's why he had that outburst. And he still hasn't told me what he was going through or anything like that. So I still don't know really what happened. But I guess now he um, isn't going to tell me because he remembers what was happening around the time and he, uh, he says it's personal. And I was like, that's not acceptable. What you did was inappropriate and you really hurt the feelings of that person I added. And... I, I told him that, and he told me to leave him alone. So, I mean, we used to be really good friends back in 2017, but then he pulled that episode in December and didn't talk to me again until July 2018. And then I didn't keep contact because I just didn't know what to tell him. Um, he said he didn't remember the event in July, so I come back uh, in November of 2018 with a screenshot of the event, and he said he remembers, you know, the day, and it was personal stuff. So, yeah. Um, between December and July, we had no contact, and between July and November, we had no contact. Um, firstly, because he wasn't talking to me, he wasn't answering my messages, and uh, after July, I wasn't keeping contact because I couldn't find the chat group, so this all happened over Facebook Messenger, and I just, I don't know what to do about him now. I'm at a crossroads with, like, 
Okay, we used to be really good friends before all this happened. Um, now what? Do I block him? Because he's not going to apologize? I mean, it wasn't worth it. What he did wasn't worth the outcome. So I don't know what to do about him. And I want you guys to uh, tell me your thoughts in the comments, because I am just, I don't even know what to think. <sighs> mm. um, but yeah, I just got done posting Power Man. I made the Power Man episode last night, and I posted it, um, about five hours ago, five or six. So, that's the time frame of me recording this. If you, um, oh, this is going to be a long time before anyone sees this. I hope there's no, like, updates to the situation, because then I would have to make another video. <laughs> I don't do much. You gotta admit, a lot of my videos, there's things I could do, and I lampshade that. I, um point out that criticism of myself. Um, there's a lot of things I could do, like in certain videos, but I won't do them. So I'm hoping there's not another, um, there's not more to the situation by the time this video goes up. I'm hoping. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this. If you did get to the end here, and I just... I need something to do. I need an idea. I don't even know if I should do this video thing. See, I would have done this video on Twitch, but after what happened with Twitch the other day, um, well, a few days before recording this, I, uh, did a stream on Twitch, and it changed the, uh, title and category when I got done. So I started up the stream, edited the title and category to, um, smoothie time, and I made the category, uh, food and drink. And when I got done with the stream, saved it and everything, it changed the title back to D&D um, &D Monsters or something like that. And set the category back to Just Talking. So, you know, usually when I go on Twitch, I don't talk about things that are really important. You know, I'm just talking about random stuff, and yeah, it's kind of interesting, but it's not like, it's not like I go on Twitch to talk about problems. No, I have YouTube for that. So this is me utilizing YouTube for what I think um, is more appropriate. I think using YouTube for this situation is more appropriate than using Twitch. Even though it's going to be quite a while before you see it, and it's going to be quite a while before I talk to my friend again. Because I don't know what to do, so I don't think I'll um, keep contact. I wouldn't know what to say if I did keep contact, because I don't want to let this go. I want him to apologize to the person I added to the group. Uh... 
who by the way I've not been in contact with either um, I don't remember why but that guy blocked messages to me I can still see his account on Facebook but I can't message him so I need uh, a way to um, fix what happened between them and I'm not concerned what happened between me and that guy because I don't even remember what happened and maybe he doesn't realize that I'm uh, blocked from top talking to him maybe so you know what I'll comment on like his most recent post and I'll be like why can't we talk and maybe he'll tell me and yeah but I'll see you in the next episode I I'm probably not doing um, daily uploads now I'm probably not so that's a thing and I'll just see you in the next episode peace